With Sebastian Vettel's Aston Martin contract set to expire at the end of 2022, many started bringing the four-time champion's future into question. Despite having a state-of-the-art weekend last time out in Imola, there is no denying that Aston Martin suffered a dismal start to the season, following the team's failed attempt at nailing the brand new technical regulations. Seb was quick to pour gas on the fire as he confessed just recently that his future depends solely on Aston Martin giving him a race-winning car. A task that currently seems far out of reach for the Silverstone-based team, which only amplified the worries about the German's future. Something we'll be covering in depth in today's video. Sebastian confessed 2022 hasn't been the smoothest of starts to a season, but robustly refused to write the year off just yet. My contract ends at the end of this season. Obviously, it's not the year everyone in the team had hoped for, at least not the start of the season, but I think it would be bad to write it off already. But despite his kind words towards Aston Martin, Seb didn't hold back his urge to win as he opened up about his vigorous desire to get back to the top. I'm mostly interested in winning, and that will determine what the future brings. I think that's ultimately the goal, to win and fight for podiums and victories, which currently we're far away from," Seb added. Given he's one of the most successful drivers in the history of Formula One, one can only understand his aspirations of once again reaching the top, especially taking into account he's last driven a race-winning car three years ago while still wearing the red overalls. But Sebastian is best known for his early Red Bull days, taking four world titles in succession and embedding his name in the history books as one of the greats. But ever since 2014, he has been left without the machinery necessary to taste championship glory, which he openly admitted took a toll on him. After my successes in the past, it is only logical that I still want to win. So my future will depend on that. But when being directly questioned about hanging his racing boots at the end of the season, the German only confirmed what was previously said. I don't know. No secrets, it'll depend on how this year goes and then I'll take it from there. One day there will be a day for all of us when this journey ends and some other journey will start, whatever that might be, he admitted, not sounding the most confident in remaining on the grid, at least with Aston Martin. But he was quick not to rule out a potential transfer as he insisted he's still in form and his uncompetitiveness is simply a result of a bad machine underneath him. I'm not really old, I think I have physically a lot of years left, that's not a problem at all, suggesting it's simply the car which represents the barrier between him and the top. The 34-year-old signed his two-year Aston Martin deal in 2020 at a time where the team was able to challenge for race wins and pole positions, but following his arrival, the team tumbled down the pecking order, finishing in a lonely seventh spot last season and is currently sitting in ninth, with a mere five championship points to their name. But with Seb's contract about to expire, close to no promise the Aston Martin slump is coming to an end anytime soon, and Fettel's certainty he can still perform at a higher level, it only makes sense many around the paddock started suggesting the German is set for a team swap rather than a full-blown F1 retirement. That now obviously brought up the all-important question, where? Which team could possibly snatch the four-time champion with a promise of competitive machinery? There are two teams the German driver has been getting increasingly linked to as of late, and despite Seb ruling out one of the options directly, he didn't necessarily shut the other door. The height of Vettel's success came when wearing his Red Bull overalls, which sparked a lot of debate over him getting back home in Christian Horner's words. When quizzed about the paddock rumors of Christian Horner reaching out to him about a potential Red Bull return next year, given their second driver is yet to sign a contract extension, Sebastian was quick to dismiss the talk, insisting he hadn't shared a word with the Red Bull chief in a long time now. I haven't spoken to Christian in ages. It's not true. He shut the rumors down bluntly. But Red Bull's helmet Marco, who is largely responsible for snatching up Vettel in his early days, made a shocking prediction even suggesting that the former Red Bull driver could lack the motivation to finish the season with Aston Martin and could thus leave prematurely. Basically, quitting in the middle of the season doesn't fit the strong character that Sebastian is, but there must be an improvement from the team soon, otherwise it will become increasingly difficult for him to stay motivated. In any case, it hurts my soul to see a four-time world champion in such a situation, Marco added. 
the last one to jump onto the Red Bull hype train was Formula One's former CEO, Bernie Ecclestone, who is adamant that Sebastian should indeed move back home. He should not be told to retire. We forget how fast he is because he is not in a competitive car. It's not easy to say he's not as fast as he used to be. He needs to be back in Red Bull, actually. But whilst Seb was in denial about a potential Red Bull move, there has been another frontrunner team he has been getting increasingly linked to over the years, Mercedes. When Lewis Hamilton's future was on the line following his devastating Abu Dhabi loss, many started believing it would be Vettel filling the Britain seat if he were to retire from the sport. And with Toto Wolff admitting the thought of bringing in the German previously crossed his mind, paired with increased uncertainty about Hamilton calling it quits at the end of 2022, given Mercedes's inability to challenge for the title, a potential Mercedes move seems to be on the cards if the option opens up. Once the debate about Fettel's future lying elsewhere than Aston Martin hit the paddock, Mike Crack, a newly appointed team principal of the Silverstone-based outfit, was quick to comment on the situation, confessing he genuinely understands Fettel's frustration. I 100% understand his comments. He wants to see progress. He wants to see the car moving forward because he's not a driver that wants to fight for P18 or P16 or whatever, so I fully understand his comments, and it's up to us to deliver the tool that is needed for him to perform. But Crack assured the press that Aston Martin will pull out every single tool in its arsenal to lock Seb in for the foreseeable future. If you have a driver like Sebastian Vettel that you can keep motivated by giving him the car that deserves the quality of his driving, I think you would be foolish not to try to retain him," Crack concluded. But just as of recent, new rumors started to circulate throughout the paddock of Aston Martin eyeing Fernando Alonso as a potential replacement if Vettel decides to switch teams or straight up walk away from the sport. A recent F1Insider.com report suggests that Alonso, who is yet to extend his current Alpine contract, remains as team owners Lawrence Stroll's desired driver if the need for a driver signing arises. But despite the ongoing talks regarding his future, Sebastian admitted he's proud of what he's achieved in his career and revealed he's fully satisfied with his past achievements as he took a short view back to the past and reflected on his 15 seasons in the sport. In all honesty, I had an amazing 15 years or so, looking back, and I was in a position to win championships, win a lot of races, fight for pole positions, get a lot of podiums, and obviously, the taste was great. It's not a secret that if you're not in a position to be there, that it's a different taste. You need to find a different sort of motivation. But yeah, I think, ultimately, I'm willing to be tasting the same again. That's the nature of the sport, he concluded. But to join Fettel on the memory lane, it was once again Bernie Ecclestone who reflected about his dear friend's track record as he had a strong opinion of where Seb's career turned sideways. The best thing he can do, and the best thing anyone can do, is forget about his years at Ferrari. What a lot of people might not know is that he's a very sensitive guy. He loves to be loved. That didn't happen to him at Ferrari, before further elaborating on why he feels Aston Martin was the right choice for him. It's not like he was disappointed with life or didn't want to be the old Fettel, it was simply that he needed to get back into a suitable team. I'm sure he's now in the right team, where they care about him. There, he has the prerequisite to show the old Fettel again, and I believe he will succeed there," he added. So, despite all the rumors, suggestions and comments, Fettel's future is still up in the air. Whether he stays with Aston, moves over to a rival, or quits the sport altogether is a question no one, including Seb himself, has an answer to yet. But we want to know what you guys think. Do you see him leaving? Will Seb leave Aston, Formula One completely, or will he find the motivation to push through the difficult times? What would you do in his shoes? And who could possibly be his replacement at Aston Martin if he really leaves? Let us know in the comments down below, as well as heading to our community section to vote in a poll regarding Seb's future. We've let YouTube decide which video of ours you would enjoy watching next the most based on your own unique watching habits and preferences. Let's see if they are right.